Hi everyone, my name is Larry Farino from ACBM Solutions. By now, most people are familiar with using the orchestrator for simple tasks such as creating a form request to add or, or update data in, in JD Edwards, and possibly looking at some of the other components like using a rule to conditionally do something. Uh, but in this video, I want to look at extending the functionality of a traditional orchestration and uh, and, and use a connector to add a text attachment for a journal entry. So to begin, I'm going to click on orchestrations and we're going to step through an orchestration that, that I've already built. So here's our create journal entry orchestration. Uh, it's still pretty simple. There's just two components. The first is a form request and the second is the connector that we're going to use to uh, call an API on the AIS server that will actually add the text attachment to our journal entry that we create in the first step. So first, let's take a look at this journal entry. When I come inside, you'll see it's a pretty uh, standard form request. We start with the PO911 and the W0911I form. And all we're doing here is clicking the add button. And when we do that, it brings up this, uh, the A form. And we're simply setting the explanation, the GL date, and then inside the grid, the account number, the amount, the remark, and then we're clicking the OK button. Now, it's very important when we're going to add a text attachment that we get some information from JD Edwards after this journal entry is created. So I'm going to return some form data after I click OK, and then the last step will be just to cancel out of the form so that we don't leave any, any hanging applications. So you can see over here, on the available actions side of the screen that we have the batch number we're gonna return. We're gonna return the doc type, the GL date, the document company, and then the document number or, or the journal entry number. Now, when we go ahead and add a text attachment in JD Edwards, what we're gonna do is essentially add a record, a media object record. And in order to do that and to correctly tie it back, we need the doc type, the doc number, the document company, and the GL date. So that's why we're selecting these four fields. And then the batch number I added just because it would be a helpful value for, for informational purposes. The other thing that I wanna point out here is we're passing the GL date into this form request. So why do we need this GL date here as well? Why do we need this returned back from the form request? And the reason is because the GL date that we're gonna pass into this form request is in the format of month, month, slash day, day, slash year, year. But the date format that we need for adding the text attachment is actually the four digit year, then the two digit month, and then the two digit day. And when we return the GL date from this form request, it just so happens that it's in that exact same format that we need. So by returning the GL date here, it saves us from having to write a Groovy script that would reformat the, the GL date that's passed into the orchestration. So we're just using that as a little shortcut to avoid writing some, some Groovy to reformat that date. So the next step is to take a look at the connector. Now, when I open this connector, the first thing we're gonna do is notice that we're we're doing a local AIS call. So I didn't need to set up a separate connection record. I'm just using the existing local AIS that, that's here by default. The path is gonna be V2 file and add text, and that's going to directly call this add text API on the AIS server. In the headers, we need to make sure that we have uh, the accept header set to application slash JSON and the content type also set to application slash JSON. And the only other thing that we need is the body. Now the body of this message is a JSON structure and it has to follow exactly what we have outlined here. So the first is the structure. So this is the GT0911 for a generic text of 911. The key, so this is the media object key that gets stored. So we need the doc type. And then we put this little pipe symbol in between this vertical bar and the doc number. And again, the pipe and doc company pipe GL date. So these are the four fields that we're returning back from our free previous step that we're mapping into this step. The form name is the PO911 and then that WO911I. Our version is the ZJDE1. The item name I'm passing in as a parameter. 
and the input text I'm also passing in as a parameter uh, and I'm going to use this notes field to, to pass that in. Now, I want to point out that in our transformation section here, all of these fields that we're passing in, so the doc type, the doc company, the GL date, and the doc number, they're all outputs from our first step. So if we look at our first step, our create journal entry form request, all of those fields are over here. Now the item name, I'm going to hard code. So I just want to call this JE note. Certainly I could pass that in as a parameter as well if I wanted. Um, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to hard code it so that it says JE notes. And then the notes, I'm, I'm not passing in from a previous step. I'm actually taking that as one of the orchestration inputs. So I'm making sure to take the, the notes from the orchestration inputs that I put in here. So that's, uh, that's the orchestration that we need to be able to add notes to a journal entry. Let's go ahead and, and test this out. So I'm going to open Excel and come to our JD Accelerator ribbon here. Now I'm going to expand my list of available orchestrations and click create template. And when I do that, it goes out to the AIS server. It looks at the orchestration definition. It finds all of the inputs as well as the outputs that are expected from the orchestration. I can go ahead and start filling this out. So I'm going to call this ACBM test JE1 and I'll put today's date as the GL date. The count number I'll use is 1.1110.us for $100. And we'll just do the simple bank transfer to that account. And now what I want to point out is in this notes section, whatever I put in here is what's going to get added as the text attachment to this journal entry once it's created. So. I can come in here and I'll say ACBM test JE notes via orchestration. So now once I run this, it should add that as a text attachment. Uh, I can go up here and click the upload data button. When I do that, you can see that it was successfully uploaded and the batch number that I created was 8671. So let's go into JD Edwards and we'll find this batch number and confirm that the journal entry was created and that the, the text attachment was also added to it. So I'm gonna come into P0911. I'm gonna type in our 8671 batch number, click find. Here's our journal entry and if we come into it, we see that our journal entry was successfully created. And if we click on the attachment icon, we can see that we have an attachment with the JE notes. And if I open this up, it says, here's our ACBM test JE notes via orchestration. So the, the text attachment was successfully added to our journal entry. If you have any questions about anything that you saw in this video, please feel free to send me an email at alfarino at acbmsolutions.com or feel free to visit our website uh, for additional information on our products and services. Thank you.